So, great opportunity this afternoon to speak to two litre hot rod star, Mark Willis. Now, Mark, uh, going back in time, I can remember your, your dad racing. Of course, you were born into oval racing, weren't you? Uh, yeah, I mean, vague memories. I suppose I can remember going across in hand with dad with the old magnet and uh, White City, Walthamstow, you know, some bloody good tracks that are gone now. You know, tracks just keep disappearing, don't they? And it's interesting, just off air, that we were talking about tracks and, you know, here we are at Wimbledon, which, of course, for oval racing has been a staple for so, so long and doing everything we can to keep racing here. Oh, I mean, it's, it's, it's great to still have a track in the capital, isn't it? I mean, it's still you still get a buzz racing in a stadium atmosphere when you come through the tunnel. It's just a different feeling, isn't it? It's great. And it's interesting, of course, because you've experienced life both sides of the racing track. And by that, I mean, uh, you started off in oval racing, then you went off and did some forays into to long circuit racing as well, where indeed you were very, very successful. But you're back to your roots, Mark. Yeah, I think um, we, we, went, we went away from the oval racing maybe a little bit too early. I didn't do what I wanted to. I didn't try and, you know, I, I didn't do all that I wanted to do. I missed out on a lot of championships. Um, which maybe we could have done a bit better in and I wanted to go into the National Autos and I didn't quite get there and then we went off and done the Euro car job and I mean we had some fantastic years on the circuits uh, come back and had another go in the Nationals and then the pickup job come about at Rockingham which we was lucky enough to go and be a part of um, and it was fantastic and then it just all it gets to a point where I think it just um, it outgrows itself again and the entry fee job comes in and it was the, it was the t time of the year where it was all the recession was coming back again as well and to be able to come and do two eats in a final and see the friends and your family and in the same day it's just a you can't beat the short ovals for the atmosphere and the friendliness i think you alluded to that as we started this chat of course as you come up that tunnel the feeling of adrenaline not only are you going out there to race but also the roar of the crowd and and you do really enjoy that here at Wimbledon in particular where you get that noise because of the the, the stadium environment and that's something unfortunately can never be replicated on the long circuits can it yeah I think I think everybody from your, from your white tops to to your champions they all want to feel special they all everybody wants to be part of it you want to win and when you come out to a place like this the big meetings, speed weekend, the big, the big championship meetings. That's what you race for. You want to be, you want to feel special. You want to be part of it. You want people to come over to you in the pit area and say that you've had a good race and they've enjoyed watching you. I think that's all part of it, and that's what motivates you to keep going, doesn't it? I think. Okay, so let's, uh, as we close, let's look at the career and the season ahead. Then um, you're doing okay, Mark, aren't you? But you are a winner. You're a born winner. You want to go out there. You want the checkered flag. So, is it going to be? Um, a, a, a real fight to the world final this year for you in the two litre hot rods? Yeah, I mean, I think we got, you know, I think Dean said he's taking the top three. So maybe if we're in the top three come September for South Africa, then we'll obviously try and get out there and see if we can compete in that. But up until then, you're just, you're, you're just, you're plodding on with the meetings, you're enjoying it, the family enjoy it. I've got a great bunch of guys who are coming out me um, during the week at home, like behind the scenes, like everybody, without what they do on me and help me during the race day. So I'm very, very lucky that I've got a family that like what I do and come with me. Uh, I'm very, very lucky with the help that I get during the week and at the meetings. And when people come up to you and they speak to you before the meeting and after the meeting and they've enjoyed what you've done and you're enjoying your racing, then you just got to keep going and go with it, haven't you? Well, good luck for the season ahead, Mark. Thanks very much, Dave. Cheers. Thanks.